the 10 best and most affordable places to retire, according to Realtor.com. I'm a sucker for a list, man. I love this, so we're going to look at it, and you probably are too if you're watching this. Uh, this is a 2022 edition from uh, August 1st, 2022. All right. Let's see. This year, about 59% of older Americans are expected to delay plans for retirement. Well, that stinks. But for those who are ready to make a move sooner rather than later, we got some options for you. There's some place where uh, younger baby boomers and old gen, uh, gen Xers can still retire comfortably with a reasonable home price. Uh, lots of people 55 and older and amenities and fun things to do. All right. Just, uh, let's see. Let's go by the retirement destinations. Uh, our team of wizards scout Realtor.com data for the 300 largest metros, including the main cities, surrounding towns, and suburbs. We look for places with the most senior-friendly friendly amenities in uh, local homes for sale. And, uh, okay, For affordability, they didn't want to have anything over $500,000. Right? So they capped 12-month median listing prices to $500,000. Okay? Focus on metros with the highest populations of residents, age 60-plus. We also found the places with the largest increase in 55-plus. So I just, did the, uh, I just ran through this. We got Traverse City. That's high on my list. Portland, Maine. There you go. Salisbury, Maryland. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Myrtle Beach, nah. Bloomington, Illinois. Have no clue. Port St. Lucie, nah. Syracuse, New York, nah. Ooh, Wilmington, North Carolina, right there, I assume. Yeah. Concord, New Hampshire. All right, all right. St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri, Springfield, but not St. Louis. But anyway, let's see what they say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through these. I'm not going to do it in this video. My next video I'll do uh, where I'm going to run through the amenities and everything and look at some properties in these various towns. It'll be fun. So we'll go one by one by one. Traverse City. I've, man, I, I know people live up there. They freaking love it, man. Traverse City sounds fantastic. Median listing home is about 390 That's the average over the past 12 months. Uh, from June through October, it boasts near perfect weather. June, July, August, September, October. That's five months. Perfect weather. I imagine sandwiched between two months of... Uh, not so perfect. That'd be a uh, you know, November, eh, probably uh, April and May. Not you know good, and then November probably cold. But then certainly December through March is probably brutal. Um, that's four months of brutal, five months of perfect, and three months of uh, not so perfect. Anyway, so uh, there are multiple uh, senior citizen centers. Uh, temperatures drop in the and the full time population drops in the winter. Okay. Uh, if it's 80 degrees all the time, there'd be a million people living here, says some guy. Uh, house hunters who want to get in that snowbird life or don't mind the cold can find great homes. All right, cool. Portland, Maine, where your old buddy Josh was born. Median price is $469. Right? The vibrant city has a ton going for it. Gorgeous waterfront as well as vibrant restaurant, bar, and cultural scenes. Very hipster is Portland, Maine. Uh, while Portland is lively and relatively affordable places to live, temperatures can go negative in the deep of winter. Yeah. And like cold, uh, cold weather, re other retirement destinations, the cold weather, maybe the folk, many of the folks who choose this historic city, city for retirement flock to the south for the winter months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people come up here from uh, Florida because Florida. Ooh. All right, there you go. Thompson's Point. I don't even know where that is. Right. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Yeah, that's fantastic. Median home price is 430 Setting on a barrier island between the Atlantic Ocean and the Isle of Wight is Bu Bucolic. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eastern Shore is for urbanized from Baltimore and Washington. Go to relax. That scratches it for me. Don't want to be dealing with urbanized from Baltimore and Washington. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, all the aforementioned amenities have led Salisbury Metro to rank 16th among the fastest growing places. Starting the, oh, you can read this. I'll put the link in the show notes. Myrtle Beach. Yeah, not for me, man. Not for me. Median listing price three twenty eight. You can read about that. Bloomington, Illinois. Interesting. Median listing price one sixty nine. Property taxes are notoriously high in Illinois, and there's a flat income tax of basically five percent. However, Illinois is the only state in the Midwest that doesn't tax IRAs, four hundred one k's, and pension income. Like one hundred percent, man. I don't think they tax Social Security either. While property taxes might be higher than say Wisconsin, the uber affordable home prices of Bloomington offset those rates. Yeah, but people aren't just moving here because it's cheap. It's safe, mid mid size, located two hours south of Chicago. That's what I'm talking about. A dense suburban field with lots of green spaces. All right. 
A cool 165 can get in this three-bedroom house Let's take, with a sweet front porch in the South Hill neighborhood. Let's take a look. There you go. Yeah, man. What's that? Tenth of an acre or so? Eighth of an acre? There you go. All right. Hunter's born in 1916. He's got a garage in there. Let's see what the property tax are here. There's a monthly payment. Monthly payment. Let's see what we got. We'll wait for that to kick in. Uh, property tax, two ten a month. That's no big deal. Look at that. Ah, cute little front porch. Yeah, dude. One hundred percent. So you're there, people. I can't afford to retire. Really? All right. I'm the wife. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Moving to Bloomington, Illinois. The home of Barack Obama. All right. So let's keep going here. Um. Here's Port St. Lucie. Lucy? No, no, thank you. Looks all flat and humid. Median home price is $377. Perennial retiree state exploded over the past two years because my man DeSantis, that's for sure. Just think how close that clown Gillum, ugh, the LGBT um, crackhead Gillum, how close he was to winning. Syracuse, New York. Are you crazy? Ugh. Median home price, one seventy nine. dollars It's one of many Rust Belt cities to see jobs and people moving away. But while the population is still declining, recent downtown revitalization projects have made the, made, made the inexpensive, inexpensive upstate state city, upstate New York City, to be far more attractive. It's a college town. Yeah. Uh, it has Syracuse, uh, the orange man who played the Carrier Dome there. I remember I saw the University of Florida play Syracuse University at the Carrier Dome. When we were in 1991. That was fun. I think Syracuse won. For less than the cost of a down payment downstate, home buyers can, home buyers can afford amazing deals in and around Syracuse. All right, cool. Wilmington, North oh, yeah, right there, man. I'm down with that. I think the property tax or the homeowner's insurance is high, though, because it's on the Hurricane Alley. Median listing price, 407 uh, Halfbacks, right there. They've come up with a term for northern state retirees who think they want to spend their golden years in Florida but end up moving a little bit best to North Carolina. Yep. That's why more folks over the age of 55 have moved from Florida to North Carolina than vice versa. I get that. And why not? The state boasts similar greenery to the north but with much milder weather, lower taxes. For those who want to be near the yeah, North Carolina's going to be tough to be. Virginia, too. Oh, yeah. Concord, New Hampshire, dudes. Look at that. That's fantastic. Median home price three ninety seven. Just last month, this idyllic town took the top spot on Realtor dot com list of hottest real estate markets. Located an hour away from Boston, uh, the city boasts plenty of arts and culture events, sporting events, and has no state income tax but high property tax. Man, they got two bedroom condo, another two bedroom condo. What if you don't want to live in a two bedroom condo? And they got the train that goes up there, and there's St. Louis. Our cost of living is low compared to many other states, says some guy. All right, so, uh, yeah, St. Louis, I don't know, man. I get it. I mean, the suburbs fine, but I'm telling you, Springfield, Missouri, you got to look at that. Northwest Arkansas. Whew. What was that one song by uh, CCR? From down to Arkansas. I can't remember. Anyway, so here you go. It's a top 10. What do you think about it? Any of you know any of these states or cities? Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, Concord, New Hampshire. Uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Love to hear your thoughts, man. Man, the comments. See ya.